Welcome to Sunny Malta. My name's Cass Woods from Breeze Yachting Malta, and today we're going to show you through our new central agency listing, which is a Predator 72, very aptly named Predator. On the aft of the boat, we have a hydraulic bathing platform, uh, which holds a tender. Unfortunately, the tender doesn't come with the boat. However, there is space in the garage inside for a Williams 325. There was an extensive renovation done to the yacht in 2017, where all the interior furniture and the exterior furniture was, was changed. And we also added this extension to the, to the aft bathing platform to make it slightly larger in keeping with the new designs that were coming forward after 2017 with Sunseeker. This Predator is a 2005 according to the hull number. However, it was built in November of 2005, so it's actually a 2006 model year, which is why the end of the hull number is a 06, which is quite an important uh, point to note. Let's jump on and have a look now at the cockpit. Clearly, the, the key feature of this cockpit is, is its significant size. You've got a large seating area, you've got a, a very big table, which seats 10 people comfortably. And for those people that have a problem with the Mediterranean sun, you have this extension that the owners put onto the, the bimini at the top to give you a full amount of shade. On the other hand, if you, want, if you do want to enjoy the sun, once the boat's opened up, you can even open up the, the sunroof inside, which makes this a very open, entertaining boat. So the piece de resistance in the cockpit of this Predator is this very lovely barbecue, gas power barbecue, which would go down well in any household, let alone on a yacht. The owner never uses the microwave oven inside. He only uses the, the barbecue because they find it so convenient and it's not allowing smells to fill up in the interior of the boat. Um, I think it's a lovely addition to the, to the specification and something that uh, would be very appealing for people who want to use the outdoor space on this yacht. Further along here, we've got the standard workspace area. You've got a sink, a worktop, and a nice open door fridge and storage space there. The sound system on this boat is quite extensive as well. There's both surround sound inside. You've got these external speakers and two large subwoofers under the sofa on the port side. So you're not uh, lacking when it comes to sound and music. Let's uh, have a look inside now, shall we? As you can see, it's a, a very well-appointed interior. All of the materials are, are new. You've got this lovely cross-stitching on the, on the uh, stools and all around the, the settee as well. Cushions are new, seating is all new, headlining is new from 2017. You've got the surround sound speakers on the, the starboard side and a TV on the port side. So we've got this lovely wood flooring as well in the saloon, which is very nice to the touch. You've got a table on a high, low uh, mechanism and it also folds out so you can seat a number of people around it. You've got a lovely wine cooler in here, which is essential, I think, for a boat of this style. And then if we move forward to the navigation area, you've got this sunroof that opens up, which is indicative of the, the Predator line, which means that you can enjoy the fresh air if you don't want to have air conditioning running the whole time. And in addition, you've also got two side windows, which are which can open and close as well. In terms of navigation equipment, uh, we've got a full complement here. We've got a, a wind indicator, Simrad autopilot, depth gauge, a chain counter for the anchor. You've got twin marine diesel MAN, um, controls as well to give you data on the engines in addition to the analogs. You've got a touchscreen Simra GPS and bow and stern thrusters to make navigation that much simpler even on a boat of this size. The VHF was only just recently changed two weeks ago so that's basically brand new and the owners also installed this very nifty dock mate which means you can basically maneuver the boat from anywhere on the boat when you're coming into to dock. It connects to both the engines, the bow and stern thruster, and also the anchor as well. That's a super neat uh, 
little addition that they've, they've put on here as well. So let's now go down into the accommodation deck. So although the galley is on the accommodation deck, it's still very bright because you've got the windscreen right above. So a lot of natural light comes down, as you can see. And you've got this beautiful, uh, well-appointed, uh, fully refitted galley with a new work surface, um, hob, and particularly nice is this large full height smoke fridge, which was replaced the, replaced the inbuilt one that's done by Sunseeker. So a lot more space in there for fridge freezer. You've got a Miele microwave oven, dishwasher, lots of storage space. You've got mosquito nets on the port lights uh, so that you can have fresh air coming in without any risk of bugs flying into your galley whilst you're cooking. Okay, now you can follow me to the master cabin. Worth noting that this is a four cabin version, so it's very spacious. You can sleep eight guests comfortably. Full width master cabin with these large side windows. You get a lot of light. Um, it's very calm, very spacious, um, and the air conditioning works incredibly well, which is something that uh, does make a difference. It's worth noting that some of the wood in areas is slightly damaged. Um, it's normal for the age of this type of boat, but uh, this, this can be fairly easily repaired with some foil. Um, it's only aesthetic, but it might annoy a potential client. Here you have a nice walk-in wardrobe with a vanity area. Nice leather seat, nice feature on this boat. You have a pull-out stool and a mirror for makeup. and some drawers. And again, you've got mosquito nets for these port lights so that if you don't want to have the AC running and you just want to have fresh air, you don't have to worry about bugs coming into the cabin whilst you're sleeping. And here we have the ensuite, which is nice, a nice size, very nice size uh, shower um, and spacious, spacious head altogether, really. You can see it's a sliding, sliding version. Of So on the starboard side, we have a, a twin cabin, but it's got an infill cushion, so you can make it a double if you like as well, which is quite convenient. Moving forward, we have the ensuite to the double cabin, which also doubles as a, as a day head. Very spacious as well, something that is notable on all of the heads on this yacht. This is the twin bunk cabin, uh, which the owners don't currently use, it's more as a storage area, but you have that option of a fourth cabin, which is, which is great and something that a lot of customers look for. And moving forward, we have the VIP with a nice size double bed, lots of storage. You've got cupboards on either side and lockers along uh, both top areas of the, of the bed. You've got a hatch out to the foredeck as well, up top, and a very nice sized ensuite. Again, good size shower well appointed, some nice features like this stone type wallpaper, which gives it a bit of a more elegant touch. So let's go up on the foredeck now and have a look. So a very big foredeck, uh, you've got teak side decks all the way around. A nice sized uh, sun pad at the front as well, which can easily take three, maybe four people. You've got glass holders, cup holders for your wine or beer or whatever you want to drink. And if you look on the roof, you've got a nice storage area for the life rafts on port and starboard. And you can see the nice spray painted black domes and uh, radar arch, which are actually dummy domes. There's nothing in them at the moment, but um, they do look good. So here we've got the electric windlass, which can be operated by these buttons on your feet or from the helm with a chain counter. There's also a deck wash system, so you can rinse the boat from here as well. And a large delta anchor with 70 meters of chain on it. So that's the end of our show around today on this Predator 72. And I can safely say that uh, it is a very nice example of the model from Sunseeker. 
The owners have uh, spent a lot of time and money in upgrades, including the interior refit, the features like the dock mate, having the extended sun pad at the back. And uh, it's been serviced regularly only two weeks ago, both engines and generators were serviced. So it really has a lot of uh, love, uh, as you can see when you go around the boat, you can see it's been well taken care of. So I would highly recommend anyone interested to give us a call and be happy to show you the boat in Malta. We speak yachting. Let's talk.